Hi and welcome back to another one of my exact software functionality videos. Today I'll be covering off sales orders and showing you some of the functionality around that. So please forgive me if I omit some, but there is just quite a lot to that you can do with our software. Um, helps accommodate a lot of businesses. So I will log in now. Again, within any browser, you can launch Exact. Okay, uh, as before, uh, as we're dealing with sales, I have my sales dashboard saved as my home screen. So anytime from anywhere, I can click on the screen. It takes me back to the relevant information for me. Uh, this is going to be the most useful parts of this demonstration as here you can see to be delivered and to be invoiced for all the sales orders that we have within the system. Uh, also on the left, we have quick links to the sales orders and also processing the flows of these sales orders. If I just click here, you'll see quick links that you can do. Down on the bottom left, here you can see uh, overdue sales orders. Click into this figure and it will generate straight away. Also sales orders partially delivered. Uh, I'm going to show you, first of all, all your sales orders within the system. Now, I've gone sales orders from delivery dates. So I have the most recent ones at the top. You can go from ones that are most outstanding and go from there. But for the purposes of today, I'm going to be explaining uh, the different statuses and also just how easy it is to go through those. Uh, a better view, if you wish, these tabs again at the top give you more granular uh, functions within those processes. So sales, orders, overview. This is very nice as it shows you the order status. Now we have three different statuses in this screen. Uh, it's open, partial or complete. An order status will always be open if the orders, the invoice status and delivery status is open. That will become partial if you have partially delivered or complete delivered but haven't invoiced. Also, it will be partial if you've completed the invoicing but haven't delivered yet. So this is a good way to go about seeing if you have completed orders or not. A complete, as you can imagine, both other sections are complete as well. Uh, this is an order of, I believe, three. Uh, if I click into partial, it will show you what has been delivered and what quantity has been ordered. So you know what is left to be done for that order. If we go back um, from this, one of the screens I'll show you shortly. Uh, well, this one gives you uh, the best overview possible, uh, I believe. And you can drill into the order number itself. And as I sh showed before from the quotation demonstration, uh, once you get to the sales order, you can deliver an invoice from here or do a purchase order if there isn't enough stock anywhere else. Whereas you can see here, we do have stock. I'm just going to go back and back to my home screen, actually. So with orders that are be to, to be delivered from the screen, we can actually bulk deliver. So if I highlight, I'm on the left here. I've selected everything in my uh, well outstanding uh, orders to be delivered. And we can deliver here multiple goods delivery. I'm not going to do this as this is a demonstration environment that I use for customers as well. Uh, so you can see 18 sales orders to be delivered. We can click deliver and that will automatically populate those deliveries uh, with all the relevant information as to the contact uh, or the delivery address, the invoice address, uh, the quantities and the amounts. So very good in that way. Um, this screen as well, uh, your sales orders can be populated automatically from your website or web shop. We have uh, an app center. Uh, if you see at the top here, uh, exact online. Uh, if you type in the search engine exact uh, online app center, it will bring you a link and here uh, just trying to think uh, WooCommerce is a pretty popular one. Here are the different integrators that we have. Just show you this one, for example, uh, from 995, you can integrate your uh, website or web shop to 
exact and on this you can also see some demonstration videos and a good explanation as to what functions they have. Uh, these typically populate exact uh, with the contact details so account cards will be populated the orders will be populated you can even uh, I believe do stock levels as well communicated between your web shop and also exact so there's minimal human interference there and yeah, you have a, a good deal of automation and from here you can deliver and keep an eye on sales orders that are coming through from your web shop um, and I believe that is it for the sales order summary um, I hope you found it useful. Uh, do leave any comments that you wish to, s if I've, I've missed anything that you would like to see more of. Um, and yeah, I will look forward to catching up with you uh, in the near future. Bye-bye.